This is the Xreal Beam Pro, a standalone spatial computing device that might just look like any old phone at first glance, but is actually a lot more. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one early and have been testing it out with the Air 2 Pro glasses. The combination truly makes for a very immersive AR experience and something unlike anything else I've seen on the market. If you've been eyeing the Apple Vision Pro but don't want to drop thousands of dollars or deal with big bulky headsets or be stuck in a limited wall garden. You know, I think this thing might be for you. Before we dive in, I want to give a huge thank you to Xreal for partnering with me on today's video. They sent these out for me to test and check out and share, and they are sponsoring this week's video as well. So a huge thanks to them. So with that being said, let's dive in first to the hardware. Like I said, this thing kind of looks like a phone, but it's not really. Uh, they kind of liken it to the iPod Touch versus the iPhone. You know, kind of a similar shape and form factor, but very different function. On the bottom, you actually have two separate USB-C ports, one to be able to plug in the glasses and one be able to charge the unit. So you can charge and use the glasses simultaneously. Really nice touch. Um, but then you'll also see that the two cameras on here are separated quite a bit. That's because you're able to capture spatial photos and videos to view through the glasses. It uses a full HD 6.5 inch LCD screen. It runs Snapdragon spatial computing processor. They have two different models available, one with six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage for $199, or you can get eight gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage for $249, runs Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 to be able to connect peripherals, and also has a built-in gyroscope so you can use it as a pointer within the Nebula OS. And going over some of the specs of the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses, you have two 0.55 inch micro OLED displays. They're each 1920 by 1080 p at 120 hertz. You have a 46 degree field of view, 500 nits of brightness, and what makes the Pros a little bit more special, they do have electric chromic dimming. So with the touch of a button, you can toggle between seeing the world around you as it is, not through cameras or anything, or you can hit that and it darkens the display to get an overall more immersive experience when using the glasses. You also have built-in speakers on the arms of the Air 2 Pro. They're somewhat directional and placed pretty close to your ears, so they're not going to disturb the people around you, and they offer a pretty substantial, you know, no headphone sound stage. So that's a quick rundown of the hardware. Getting into the fun stuff, though, using these in tandem, when you plug the glasses into the Xreal Beam Pro, it automatically launches the Nebula OS, launches into a full 3D interface with floating apps on the home screen. You can rearrange and customize this however you want. It looks and feels pretty similar to the Vision Pro. What really differentiates things here though, you have full access to the Google Play Store. So all of the Google Play Store apps are automatically compatible and work within the Nebula OS. So anything you can think of is covered from day one. You know, social media apps, you know, movie and TV show streaming, game streaming, even productivity stuff like Google Drive or Sheets. You have millions of apps in your AR glasses from day one. General operation is extremely simple and intuitive. When you plug your glasses in, it transforms the screen on the Beam Pro device into an interface screen. So you can actually use the device to point and click within the Nebula OS interface. Really simple and nice and intuitive. But you also have the option for swiping gestures on here as well. You have a home button to get back to the main screen. It even pops up with a keyboard if you're trying to do text input so you don't have to worry about floating virtual keyboards or any sort of annoyances in that way. When you hit the red button on the side of the Beam Pro, you can toggle between two different modes. One is a smooth follow. It'll track your head movement but smooth out any jitteriness. I found this to be very effective. The smooth follow is what I use most and probably my favorite, but you do also have the option of body anchor. This allows for you to lock the display into a single location if you want to keep it static. You can toggle between a medium or a large screen size with the Beam Pro offering a 91 inch or 222 inch screen. You can also run multiple apps in tandem as well and swap between them for whichever you want in the main. Great for multitasking and just overall a really smooth experience. With the Bluetooth support built into the Beam Pro as well, you have full access to peripherals. So if you want to plug in keyboard or a gaming controller or Bluetooth headphones, really opens up a ton of possibilities for how you can use it. And that's what we're getting into next. First and foremost, for me, my favorite way to use it is just as a general entertainment device. 
sacrifice, having this level of immersion for movies and TV shows and game streaming is really incredible. I think it's amplified even greater by the lightweight nature of this form factor. You know, basically just putting on sunglasses opens up all of these possibilities. It's really comfortable for longer periods of wear, you know, watching a longer movie or gaming for a few hours. It's really nice to get comfortable in my lounge chair and watch or play something or even lay in bed and do the same. I've worn this when I'm doing my meal prep for the week and I think it makes the time go by a lot nicer and the pass through allows for me to still get all of my cooking done. It sounds a little ridiculous, but it's super satisfying. I also really like that this is a complete standalone device, so it's not going to occupy my phone or computer or anything like that. It works without any extra input from other devices. Movies and TV shows have been great. Game streaming is also really fun. You know, it connects directly with my Xbox controller. Having a giant screen in such a portable and lightweight setup is very fun and extremely satisfying. Really solid experience overall for all of my media and entertainment. The giant screens are super nice. The built-in speakers are satisfying as well, but if you're more in public, you can connect in Bluetooth headphones. It kind of just has everything covered. There's also a ton of potential here for light workflows and general productivity. Because you have full access to the Google Play Store, you know, having Google Drive and Sheets opens up a lot of things for me. You can connect a regular full-size keyboard, so it makes it a lot more feasible to actually do this. Printing through emails or prepping notes for an upcoming video or doing research and using Google Chrome. You know, all of it is very seamless. If your workloads are really light, you know, you're not going to be editing videos or anything on this, but just general office tasks, I found it to be surprisingly capable. It's also worth mentioning there's an added benefit of privacy here. If you're doing all of this in public, you know, no one can see what's on your screen when you're wearing the glasses compared to having a separate laptop monitor on display. You know, so if you're working on anything more sensitive, you do get the extra bonus there too. One other aspect aside from entertainment and productivity stuff that I haven't really touched on with the Beam Pro is capturing and viewing spatial photos and videos. You get a really unique sense of depth with these cameras being spaced so far apart. It's 50 millimeters. You know, they tried to emulate a little bit closer to the human eye compared to most other, you know, smartphone cameras that might be able to do spatial video. In practice, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's not going to replace your like full DSLR or mirrorless camera or anything like that. But for a device that is $199, takes surprisingly capable photo and video. It'll do up to 1080p60 in the spatial video mode, which I think is a little bit more fun, but you can also do spatial photos as well. One other really important aspect of this to keep in mind as well, because this disconnects, you can go around and take your spatial photos and videos with the device without having to wear the glasses. So I think you can be a little bit lower key in a lot more areas as well compared to having to use the headset. Again, I think this just reiterates the versatility of a setup like this compared to a bigger headset. Set. Honestly, I'm quite impressed with this setup, especially considering the price. But even aside from the price, like I'd mentioned, I think there are a lot of things going for this here and the amount of versatility and options you have with a setup like this. Beyond having the Google Play Store and being able to use this independently, you know, having the glasses as well to be able to use for other devices has been really satisfying. I just recently got a Legion Go, so I've been playing games on that. Uh, you know, Plugging this into the Legion Go is really nice. Plugging it into my laptop is nice. Lots and lots of flexibility on a really reasonable budget, so I really appreciate it for that. Overall immersion has been really great. I love the Nebula OS and Interface. I love the electrochromic displays on the glasses. There's a really great synchronicity here between the Air 2 Pros and the Beam Pro along with the Nebula OS. You know, hardware and software working in tandem in a really satisfying way. I know you all know I don't usually do a lot of single product focused videos like this, but it just seemed really exciting and I had to get my hands on it to check out. You know, it feels like a really big jump in technology and advancement for this category of kind of small form factor AR devices. I was really happy to have the chance to try it out and the experience has been great. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about any of this stuff. Happy to answer and get into it. I've been nerding out for the last several weeks testing and trying everything. Uh, also be sure to check the description down below for links for the Beam Pro. Uh, check it out for yourself. Pick one up if you're interested. A huge thanks again to XREL for partnering with me on today's video. But that's it for this one. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.